On the last part, we set up the default routing for an Angular application, but the more route definitions you have, the longer the app.module.ts file will get, which is why we are going to create a separate routes file. For that, let us go to Visual Studio Code, and then in here I'll just go to the Solution Explorer, so basically to the Explorer window, and then I'll create in here another folder, I'm going to name that folder the Modules folder, and then inside the Modules folder I'll add a new file, I'll name it the app.routes.ts. So in here what we are going to do is that we are going to define that this file is going to be an Angular module file. So for that I'll use the ng module decorator. Now we have said that when you have a component, the decorator is going to be component. When you have a module file, the decorator is going to be ng module. The ng module belongs to the Angular core. So for that I'll just import it up here. Import then ng module from Angular and then core. And now inside the ng module, we are going to define the imports and the exports. And then for this file to be available, you need to also export it. So export class app routes, so routes module, and then open and close the curly brackets. Now, just before the ng module, we are going to define all the routes. So const routes is equal to, this is going to be of type routes, so routes, and the routes belongs to the Angular router, so Angular router. And then in here, we are going to create an array of routes. I'll just go to the app.module.ts, let me close the explorer, and then copy the array from here. I'll actually just cut it, and then in the app routes.ts, I'll just paste it in here. Let me just remove the extra square brackets, and then let us import the components. At all missing imports. You can see that we have added the details actors. So basically all the imports and the error is gone. Now in the imports we are going to define the router module and then to the router module dot for root we are going to pass the routes array. So basically whatever we have in here we are going to have in the app routes.ts. So let me actually just cut this line from here and then just paste it in here, then inside for routes we are going to have routes and also we need to also import the Angular router to also include the router module. So basically so far we have just defined the router module, we have added the routes to the router module, but for us to be able to use this file and have access to the routes, we need to export it. So now you can see that you have the imports, on the imports you basically just set up the router module and for the router module to be accessible, you need to export it. So in here, I'll just type router module. So wherever you reference now the app routes module, you'll have access to the router module configuration within this file. So let us save the change in here. Now let us go to the app.module.ts and in here, just after the browser module, I'm going to add the app routes module. Now this is all you need to do. So now let us save the changes and just go back to the app to see if everything is working as expected. So we are here on the app, I'll just type in here details. You'll see that we are successfully redirected to the details page, which means that the setup worked as expected.